Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to properly size your air treatment system. In particular, we're going to talk about air dryers, how we size it, what we're looking for when we do it, and what types they are. In the industry, we go by the rule of 100s, the three 100s. 100 degree ambient temperature, 100 degrees of inlet temperature, and 100 PSI. Those are the three standards that we go by. So using that is based your room and your application by it. How much air does my compressor produce? What's the pressure my pressure compressor produces? And what's the room temperature? Then we have to start to build a little bit of a chart of how we're going to size this compressor. The easiest way to start it is to say, if my compressor produces 50 CFM, I need a minimum of a 50 CFM dryer. Then we start to add into, is it hotter in the room? Do we have to compensate for that? There's some correction factors that come into play. So when it gets really technical with the stuff, I do recommend that you uh, consult a local on how to do that, or you know, call the company and they'll give you some ideas on how to do it. But remember the three 100s, they'll help you out a lot. So when you're dealing with some of the dryers, you have the cycling dryers and the non-cycling dryers. You have tank mounted like this one or integrated into the package. You have standalone dryers. It's a lot of different applications and a different fit. It all depends on what your application is. If you have any other comments to add, please put them down below. Please like our page and subscribe to our channel.